what happens with Jacob is that he goes out and he's continuing his life and there's going to be this meeting where his brother Esau is going to meet up with him. And he's for sure that his brother's going to show up and want to kill him. So he's freaked out and so he's, he's camping alone waiting for his brother to show up. And, and we pick the story up and it goes like this, right? It says, but Jacob stayed behind by himself and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he couldn't get the best of Jacob as they wrestled, he deliberately threw Jacob's hip out of joint. The man said, let me go, it's, it's daybreak. And Jacob said, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. Then the man said, what's your name? And he answered, Jacob. Now the man said, but no longer. Your name is no longer Jacob, for now it is Israel. God wrestler. You've wrestled with God and you've come through. And Jacob asked, what's your name? And the man said, why do you want to know my name? And then right then and there, he blessed him. Jacob named the place Peniel, God's face, because he said, I saw God face to face and lived to tell the story. And the sun came up and he left Peniel limping because of his hip. Did you catch that? Jacob wrestles with God. And then God says to him, he says, what's your name? And he has to say, my name is Jacob. My name is the deceiver. And the answer says, no, not anymore. From here on out, your name is Israel, the God wrestler, because you struggled and wrestled with God. What I love this morning and every day of my life is that we serve a God and are invited into a relationship with a God who is not the God of Enoch, right? For all the people that are just absolutely killing it and walking steadily with God. But not only did he change Jacob's names here, but then God goes on and chooses the name Israel to represent his nation forever. The nation of Israel. The nation of people who struggle and wrestle with God. And I know for me, my relationship with God has looked a lot more like wrestling with him than it has walking steadily often. And see, if we're not clear on that, what can happen is this. We can begin to think that God is more uh, uh, proud of or, or more welcoming the, the Enoch's than he is us Jacob's, than he is us Israel's, than he is us wrestlers. And so what we do, and I know that we think that because we actually betray our, our, our thoughts, right, by the way that we present ourselves in, in church circles, right? That's why we dress up to come to church and smile, Right? Because we want people to know, I'm not struggling. Life is good, right? Like we come in and, you know, we, we can't stand our husband. We want to punch him right in the nose, right? Or put him in a headlock or something. I don't know. But we hold hands and we come to church and we praise him. Praise him. It's good. Love him, right? <laughs> right? You show up and you get your kids and you make them like shower and kind of get dressed nice and you get them to church, right? And you were driving here thinking to yourself, how could I get them adopted this week, right? <laughs> but you came in, hey, buddy, you go over there and learn about Jesus. We're going to go in and praise Alleluia. All right. Everything's okay in our house. No problems here, right? And at least we've stopped dressing up for church, right? That's a good start, right? Because that was, that was ridiculous because it was just like, uh, you know, we had to put a tie on and a suit to come to church, right? So we had to look good on the outside. So it's like, you know, have you seen my nice tie? Yes, it's to distract you of the darkness of my soul. All right. <laughs> good morning. Welcome to church, All right? If we understood that it was the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, right, the deceivers and the strugglers and the wrestlers, we would be fine to come up and say to this, hey, guess what? I'm barely holding on right now in a full-blown wrestling match with God, not sure that I believe. Marriage is hanging on by a thread. I hate my job. I'm trying to figure out if I can still maintain this faith. It's a wrestling match with God. And we would not feel shame for that because we know that we serve the God of Abraham and Isaac and of the Jacobs.